grace has my favor freely extended to you, whereby I lean myself toward you, to always be near you to share my benefits with you. The foundation of my grace is my great love and mercy that you can never deserve. Therefore, I freely extend myself to you in my passionate love to share the benefits of my grace. This gift of grace is my blessing that demonstrates my unfailing love as of such great magnitude that my free gift outweighs every sin. Thus, grace is my unmerited gift of acceptance that disposes me to bless you, to come near to you, who is undeserving. Grace's impact shows itself most effectually through the dynamic power of the Holy Spirit who continually implants within you my power and desire to pursue spiritual realities that lead to life and peace. The Spirit of God empowers your life by making his home within you. He released the Spirit of his Son into your heart. Now, Christ lives his life in you. So even though your body may be dead because of the effects of sin, his life-giving spirit imparts life to you because God fully accepts you. The Holy Spirit's power habitually puts to death the evil deeds prompted by the flesh. Now, the spirit of life flowing through Jesus Christ liberates you from the power of sin and death. I.T. rescued you from the power of darkness and brought you into the kingdom of my dear Son. In him, you have forgiveness of your sins through his blood. Listen, you could never overcome the power of sin with the power of your will or through your own efforts. It requires my power through my grace to deliver you from the power of sin and death. Grace is my love gift that brought you to Christ. You could never do anything to save yourself and make yourself approve and accept able and in the right relationship with me. The spirit of grace is your guarantee of my acceptance. The spirit of adoption enfolds you into my family as my dearly loved child. I will never orphan you. I will never fail you. I will not in any way let you down. I will never abandon you because I have made my home with you and live in you. And I never change my mind about you. Now, my spirit of life flows through you, having liberated you entirely from the law of sin and death. Sin no longer reigns over your life, so, refuse to answer its call. Instead, passionately depend on my spirit in you to answer the call of sin with my power and wisdom. Sin will not conquer you because I have already conquered it. Now, draw confidently and fearlessly to my throne of grace to receive mercy for your failures. Receive my very kiss of mercy on your life and discover that my grace has already made available to you what is needed to strengthen you in every situation and circumstance in your weaknesses, and my grace provides your every need, coming just when I know you need it, my child.